What's up everyone, my name is Hafo and today we've got an After Effects tutorial on how to create the little particles that like fly across your screen on like cinematics and whatever. Looks pretty cool. And I'm just going to show you a quick example of when it's been used in like an actual montage. And it's been used by the Moody Swede, or Small Beans, both of them. Uh, I believe Small Beans edited this. And uh, as you will see the little particles float up on the Twixter, it looks pretty nice. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that, it's really really easy. So let's get started. You're going to want to open up, actually no sorry, before I start I just want to say uh, check out uh, my mate's channel, they're in the description both of them. They do FIFA videos and it's basically tutorials and stuff, how to earn coins quick and you know that sort of crap. So if you're interested, I'm sure a lot of you are, uh, just check them out and I think you'll definitely be worth it. So uh, yeah, so we're going to start with After Effects, you're going to open it up and you're going to just import your your movie or whatever it is, your little clip into the timeline at the bottom and then you're going to right click and click new solid, uh, black solid and just make it to comp size click OK, I've already done mine then you're going to highlight your black solid go to effect simulation CC particle world ok and you're going to click that um, and when it'll open something like this then you're going to change the birth rate to 0 0.5 if you want it that depends how many you want this bit's entirely up to you I changed mine to 0 0.5 because I just felt that was uh, the best like for what I didn't want too many particles but if you want to double up on particles just change it to 1 and uh, just change the longevity to uh, 3.0 Sorry if I don't pronounce that right, I don't quite know. Yeah, but to 3.0. And, uh, yep. Then you're going to want to go to Producer. And where it says Radius X, change that to 1.5. Where it says Radius Y, change that to 1.5 also. And Radius Z, change that to 2.0. Okay. Then go to Physics. And change the Animation to fractal omni this is very important change it to fractal omni well no it's not actually that important I don't think <laughs> I kind of lied a bit there I'm sorry <laughs> go to velocity below it and change that to 0 0.10 and uh, the gravity now this bit depends on this is like really personal preference how fast you want the little particles to float if you want them to go quite fast then change it to a uh, a higher number or a lower number depending so say I want them to float upwards you're gonna wanna go minus minus 0 0.1 being slower if I went minus 0. Point, um, minus 0 if I went minus 1 they'd go a lot faster like so you'll see them I'm like going at hell speeds there <laughs> so um, minus 0 0.1 is what I like but it's up to you. you. Change it to like if you want it to like go like quite fast, but not too fast. Just go zero point four. It's not bad. I sometimes do it at that sometimes. Anyway, <laughs> uh, going on to particle, then you change the particle type on the left to a uh, faded sphere, not shaded sphere. Make sure you get that right. Faded sphere. I made that mistake earlier, and I felt like a bit of a retard. So get that one right. Okay, there. Faded sphere. Um, birth size changes to 0 0.2 and death size 0 0.15 and you just want to make the size variation 75% now this bit here where it says birth colour and death colour you just want to click that and change it to white or it's really up to you I sometimes go with a nice light blue looks pretty nice but it's really up to you that just kind of changes the colour of the particles and uh, yeah that can kind of change on the colour of the map that you've got if you've got like a mainly blue map you want to change it as like slightly blue or even just white looks fine on most maps anyway okay and you want to change the death colour as well to white and that is basically it uh, if you want to change the speed as I said earlier you just go to producer no you don't right you go to physics and change the gravity so turn it up or down or whatever if you want it to if you want the particles to float downwards then you just change it to like it's not minus and I get you get the picture also on the video I showed like the wiggle effect um, 
what I did was to do that, I got the black solid as you can see here. And you see the little squiggly spiral next to it where it's a parent. You just want to drag that onto getreal.mov or whatever your movie is. And uh, then click on your video, press P on your keyboard, hold the Alt key, and click the little time, uh, the stopwatch. Um, oh, I clicked it twice then, I don't know if you might have to do the same. Then where it says transform dot position, just write wiggle. And then, I'm putting two, but that's just, just how many times it wiggles per second, so you might want to do more or less. But I do two, and then ten. Ten is like how, how much it wiggles, so like how the velocity of the wiggle. It, it, <laughs> that sounds so wrong, but... Um, yeah, that's basically it. I zoomed it in by just changing the scale and keyframing it. But, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out those channels that I said at the start. And... Um, yeah, check out my channel, I've got more tutorials on the way, and I've got plenty of tutorials on there if you haven't seen them already. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy, and uh, see you.